In response to the request of the apostles in the gospel yesterday, Lord, increase our faith. In today's gospel, the Lord narrates to them the parable of the unworthy servant. The parable of the unworthy servant narrates the story of a servant who comes back from the field and proceeds straight to prepare supper for his master and to be the waiter while the master eats. Only after the needs of the master are fully satisfied does the master then tells the servant to leave and to attend to his own needs for food and rest. What does this parable tell us about the apostles asking the Lord to increase their faith? Our Lord is saying that if our faith is mature, we would put the will and the pleasure of God first in our lives at all times. If our faith is mature, we will put the will of God, the pleasure of God first in our lives all the time. If our faith is mature, we will not grumble. We will not complain. We will not rant. That we have been working for God all day long. That we have been working for God all life long. And now we are tired. And it is the turn of God to attend to our needs and to grant all our wishes. My dear brothers and sisters, the truth of the matter is that our relationship with God is not about buying and selling. Our relationship with God is not something like you give something and I get something in return. Because our faith in God does not involve a transactional relationship. You know what is the meaning of transactional relationship? Like, I give God so much and I can expect so much from God in return. No, our relationship with God is not transactional. Our relationship with God is one of total, unconditional love and service. And the joy and satisfaction is not in what we can do to squeeze favors from God, but in what we can give and share of ourselves. Why is this so? Because we are only servants. We are mere servants. Servants. Pauper servus et humilis. As we say in Panis Angelicus, Pauper servus et humilis. We can never do more than our duty. We are servants, but we are not slaves. In another event in the gospel, the Lord Jesus said, I do not call you servants anymore, but I call you friends. My dear brothers and sisters, however much we give to God, whatever we give to God, it is a small repayment for all that God has showered upon us. We cannot say to God, God, I have loved you for one week. You have to love me back for one week. The reason is because love does not keep accounts. Love does not keep accounts. Love does not count. Only love counts. Throw away the calculator. Throw away the calculator. When we talk about our relationship with God, because the service of God is really the work of a servant. God commands, we obey. God has no debts. We are the ones indebted to God. We have no claim on God of whom we are the debtors. God does not owe us any salary. God does not owe us any reward. 
God does not owe us any gratitude. Even when we have perfectly fulfilled everything we have been ordered to do, we have merely carried out our duty because we are mere servants. I remember an old homily by an SVD father some years ago. And in his homily, I was listening to him. This father said, In this world, in our world, there are servants and there are masters. But in the eyes of God, we are all servants. There are people who think of themselves not only as masters but as grandmasters. And there are masters who turn out to be monsters. My dear brothers and sisters, if God wants to reward us out of His kindness, it depends entirely on God. We have no right to demand a reward, having merely done what we were bound to do. I remember the story of the parable of the prodigal son. You remember the older brother? The older brother telling the father, Father, I have served you faithfully. I have done anything and everything. Not to offend you, but you never gave me any party. You did not even kill the smallest calf for me. My dear friends, God does not owe us anything. We owe God everything. God does not owe us anything. We owe God everything. Kaya nga, hindi natin maaaring sumbatan ang Diyos. Wag tayong manunumbat sa Diyos, hindi tayo kailangang magalit sa Diyos o pagalitan o magtampo sa Diyos sapagkat ang Diyos Walang utang na loob sa atin. Tayo ang napakalaki ng utang na loob sa Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, let each one of us strive to be the good and faithful servant that we all should be to whom the Lord can say at the end of our life, Well done! Well done! Good and faithful servant, you have been trustworthy in little things. I will put you now in charge of greater things. Come, come, enter into the joy of the Master.